The transpose data feature allows you to take a range of data and actually flip it. For example, if I got a range here that I don't want the labels for the columns to be in this format up at the top for each column and I want to flip it so the labels are on the left hand side by rows, then go ahead and select the data range that you want to flip and right click on it and go down to copy and then come down here in a cell, you know, somewhere in a blank area where you've got some space and then paste it. Now not just a simple paste, it's got to be the transpose paste and you can do that one of a couple of ways. You can either come up here on the home tab and click paste first and then from the paste options choose transpose or click on the drop down arrow and just choose it right there. There's transpose and you can see down below it's in preview mode before I click on it or you can come down here and right click and also go to transpose and it gives you the preview before you click on it and you see how it flips the uh, labels for the columns over to the side here now in rows. Well go ahead and click on it and there you go. And by the same token, we can select that and transpose that and right click on that selection. Go ahead and go to copy and right click in the cell down below and select transpose right there. And we're back to where we had it originally in the database up above. Okay, let me go ahead and click and drag and select the ranges here. The only problems that I run into with this is that if I'm doing it with cells that contains formulas or functions, so for example, we've got, let's see, the month total and the month average. If I select this range here and I want to flip it, so instead of being in row format, I want it in column format. Well, let me show you. Right click on the selected range, go to copy, and let's come over here to give ourselves some space down below. So when we transpose it, we've got some room. Right click, go to transpose, and what's happening? I mean, look at the value here. The first one four month total should be 741, but it's not. If I double click on it, notice how it's coming down to that row. Let me hit the escape key, double click. Goes down to the next row. Let me hit the escape key, double click, and it goes down to the next row, so it transposed everything, including the range that it's looking at. If you do this, you want to go ahead and update your formulas here. And if you double click, well, you can just go ahead and click and drag them so they go back up here to the correct range and then hit enter and there you go 741.49 is exactly what we have there and that's a simple formula if I go ahead and use like these other formulas and you can see up in the formula bar and I want to transpose those where it says the max the minimum and I click and drag that range and right click to copy to right click to transpose you see with the simple formulas it works, but with the uh, maximum and minimum, when I double click, it doesn't even update with the range and transpose it to go row by row like it did over here with the more simplistic formulas. The functions, uh, it chokes on it. So keep that in mind when you do that. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.